little background. Now let's get into the trading. So off the bat, if you're a new trader to Tasty Trade and or you know you're not used to clicking on specific strikes or bids, bid and asks to to set up trades. The easiest way is going to be through the strategy selector tool. And this goes for more a lot of our more advanced option strategies when we get to broken wing butterflies or just regular butterflies, iron condors, ratio spreads. Although you can craft up these trades super quickly by like this, clicking on the bid and ask, left clicking here, dragging and moving, super, super quick. Um, you can do all that and mess around with the quantity in the order ticket, but it might take you some extra time for some of these strategies or some extra clicks. Uh, for butterflies in particular, uh, if we wanted to place a butterfly spread on this March 15th expiration, all you got to do is just navigate to the top of the platform here to our strategy selector. We can open up this drop down here and we're going to actually see all the different preset strategies that we can set up trades on here. And sorry, when I go to, yeah, the zoom drawing tools are going to give me a hard time. But when we got this drop down popped down here, we see long call butterfly, or, you know, we we're talking about ratio spreads, short put ratio spread to adjust this real quick. And, you know, maybe you want to do a put uh, butterfly spread here. All you got to do is just left click on call and that toggles to put or vice versa left click on put and that toggles to call long, short, same dealio. So in this case, if we wanted a long call butterfly spread, we have that all set up. We can just click on go. And now it's going to set up our trade here just close to at the money by default. And sorry, I got a little pop up. I got all of these new computers. But um, here you're going to have your butterfly spread where we have our long legs on either side and then also our two short legs. And how you can edit this, there's a couple different ways. If you don't like to drag and drop, you can go down here and mess around with the strike width and moving the strikes up and down. So I could go... Uh, down here, to a little bit lower. I could go up on my strikes here. I could widen out the width, you know, make it uh, five dollars wide. I could go back down, or actually, sorry, ten dollars wide. Um, I could go fifteen dollars wide, or scrunch it back down. Those are just some quick buttons there, or just left click, hold, and drag, and you can move around your strikes. And as you're doing that, just some off the bat, you know, how can you, you're, you're setting up this trade and you want some visual references of what's going on with this trade. Well, first, you're going to want to check out these metrics up here. So in the top right of each of our options expirations, we're actually listing the implied volatility for this expiration and then also the expected move. So in this case, we have an implied volatility for this March 15th at about 31.4%, and the expected move for this next 45 days, about a one standard deviation moved, just based on a Black Scholes options pricing model, taking the options pricing and outputting, hey, based on where things are priced right now, this is the one standard deviation expected move. That's 7.11 up and down. That is going to be displayed visually as this orange bar right here. So you imagine maybe you're setting up a trade and you're thinking, okay, you know, I want to, you know, I'm setting up this butterfly here. I want to profit as long as this underlying trades within this range. Well, what's really nice is that on top of that orange bar, you see right here on the left side, this red, green, and then red. This is showing us a very granular look at our profit or loss zones on this trade. So as we adjust our legs here, as we widen this out, you see that green and red zone kind of shifting, shifting around, shifting up and down. So we can maybe move our, our short legs a little up over there, set up our long legs outside the expected move. And now we kind of see here, based on just setting up our trade that, you know, as long as this underlying trades between our expected move here or pretty darn close to it over the next 45 days, we're going to be in our profit zone at expiration on this trade. And now this is, you know, might be a little hard to see. It's, it's not super visual. And that's where we can then hop into our curve analysis mode. So we, we've got our trade here in the trade table. Let's go ahead and check out the analysis mode for this too. So if we want to analyze this on our chart, or just kind of look at the PL at expiration graph for this trade in particular, just a couple of clicks. First, 
at the top of your screen. And this is might look a little bit different if you have a smaller resolution. This actually might look like a drop down where you're going click on the drop down at the top and then it shows you all the different trading modes. In this case, I've got a wide resolution so you can see all the tabs. But we would go here, we're in table right now. We're going to want to switch to curve trading mode. Make sure that analysis is selected. So we go ahead and, and click on curve there. And now we are looking at our curve trading mode for this trade. And now what's really nice is that similar to our window before, we're seeing our profit or loss zones on this trade. And then we can continue to edit this trade as well, you know, to a point of, you know, we set up a butterfly here. Uh, what is it? $10 wide. This is just a classic butterfly, but you know, maybe we're looking to set up a broken wing butterfly. How can we do that and, and visualize that trade? Well, all you got to do is just left click and drag, and that will start to adjust your trade here. And you'll see here that, you know, as we start moving our leg left and right, that, or, you know, a little bit closer there, that we start to see that broken wing butterfly structure. Or, you know, we drag it back out and we go back to what we had before too. So we can move this middle, oh, sorry, got to unselect those. Move this middle leg too, if we wanted to. Um, or we can click on the buttons here as well at the bottom if you're having any trouble. So same exact thing here. And when you're in the screen, you guys might be seeing a, a couple of different things and or your screen might look really, really cluttered. And that's probably because you got everything selected. So I'll revisit this in just a second after we've uh, looked at placing some calendar spreads and stuff like that. But the main ones you're going to want here, or at least the, the things you want toggled here are... If you're viewing or want to view the PL at expiration graph or kind of that, um, you know, at expiration based on where this underlying is trading, where are my profit or loss zones on this trade? That's where you're going to want to make sure that PL at expiration is selected. So that's actually this right here. So as you see, I toggle it, it's going up and down. And then also, one other thing that I have selected here is the zones. So I have at expiration as the zone. And that's filling in my graph. So make sure that you have PL at expiration selected and also at expirations on the zones. If you have PL Theo and the Theo zone as well, it's going to start to get a little muddy where you got a lot of lines going on. So for the most part, at least for right now, we're going to dive into the PL Theo here shortly, but you can unselect this. You can make sure, I mean, even then, if you don't want to see these uh, bell curves, you could get rid of these two as well. So we can unselect those, get those bell curves off there. And then really all we're seeing here is just, again, that p at expiration graph, that kind of main graph that we want to see. Just some other quick pieces while we're in here. At the top, what's really nice is that you're going to see all of the different profit or loss marks for different uh, the different lines here, these different strikes. So as, you know, with the butterfly, we have max losses here at uh, 361 because that's the debit we're paying or potentially paying to open if we place this order. So you see, as I'm scrolling my mouse here, and let me try and see if I can get a little arrow here, but you see, as my mouse is moving left and right, I have this info box, and that's actually this little view info there. You can see here as I'm moving my mouse back and forth, that's showing me, okay, my price selected right now is 134.25. My PL at expiration, if TSM were to trade to this price and I open this trade, would be negative $361. So lose $361. Whereas if I go over here, maybe I say, oh, you know, what if it were to expire at about uh, 117.50? then I would actually have a profit of this trade of about $389. So as you're looking to see, hey, based on where this underlying is trading over this expiration, um, you know, where are my profit or loss zones on this trade? And other than that, the other piece of information that you're really going to want to check out here when setting up your trades is going to be, you know, the order price that we're submitting it at. But then also this uh, bottom row here that I just highlighted, this is going to show us our trade metrics in terms of our max profit, our max loss. We can see you know, what kind of directional exposure we might have on this spread. So generally, you know, 
uh, butterflies delta neutral, but um, in this case, we're slightly skewed to the downside a little bit. So we have some negative deltas. And then um, we can see here too, the theta or you know how much uh, time decay is gonna kick in each day. And then some other metrics like extrinsic value, probability of profit, um, P50, all that jazz is going to be in our row down here. So what's really nice is that, you know, you got all that information all in one place. You don't have to jump between a bunch of different screens or menus to see it. And then as you're, oops, as we're updating our trade here, you know, all these metrics, all this stuff at the bottom, all these numbers at the top, everything's updating in real time based on how we're setting up this trade here.